Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing an archery vlog. Now recently I took up archery, I used to do it when I was younger, I used to compete as a compound junior when I was about 8 to 13, 14, something like that. I was pretty good, I was pretty good, I won a couple of trophies, I've actually got one up on my shelf over there. But we recently took up archery and I've started doing recurve shooting, now basically that's just a bow with one string, compound has three strings, doesn't really matter. But I thought I'd take you guys on a little bit of a vlog, a little bit of a journey to experience what it's like to do archery. So today I'm going to take you down to where I shoot and yeah, show you everything about it, uh, setting up the bowl, getting set up with all the gear and stuff. And, and yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy. And if you do, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever done archery and if you enjoyed it. I'd actually really like to know how many people <laughs> that watch these videos have uh, done archery before and if they've enjoyed their experience. But yeah, today I'm gonna take you on my journey on what it's like for me to do archery. And uh, I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. So, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build the bowl. So I came out here into my garden because it's kind of, I don't have to set it up in the field because it's just a little bit, it's just more muddy and stuff, but here in the garden, so I'm gonna set it up. There is, uh, we'll probably have, probably have the dogs come around in a sec. There's a massive bee flying around. It looks pretty chill though. So we'll get this sorted out. So first of all, there's a few parts to a bowl. Now the main couple of parts is gonna be, we've got the site, Right, which you can kind of like look down. It's a little fiber optic in there. That's pretty good. That'll go onto this piece. Forget what this bit, this bit is called. Yeah, I forgot what this piece is called. So um, we'll put that we'll put that on the screen somewhere. We got the limbs. So the limbs are the bit that go on the top and the bottom of the bowl. So the trick is with these is the limb that doesn't have anything on this side so there's no like graphic or anything here the main part of the bowl there's a little slot here you're going to slot that in like so clean off any dirt or anything that's accumulated so that's going to sit and it's going to be a little bit wonky that's actually okay because once the string's on there is like no it'll be under tension so it won't move and then the other one slides on the exact same way <clears throat> like that there we go we got that's the bowl in its like purest form so there's a very important thing about the string, which I'll explain to you guys. There's two loops. So one loop is really big. One loop is super small. Um, now the big one goes on the top. It's, it's pretty easy. So the big one goes on the top, little one goes on the bottom um, of the bowl. So how you actually do this is there's a very specific way you want to go about this. This is just the way I like to do it. There's no like right or wrong way, I guess. Well, I guess there kind of is, but big loop, you're gonna slide it on to the top limb, but you're gonna slide it all the way down, right? It's just gonna kind of go go down quite a bit and that allows you to put on the smaller one. So then what we're gonna do, is you're gonna put this under a little bit of tension, just a very tight bit, like literally nothing, just to make sure that this bit doesn't pop off. And we're gonna grab this. This is about as basic as it gets. But all this is, is this just allows us to like bend the bowl without having to pull the string back. There's a little pocket on this end. This goes on the bottom where the small loop is. And then the top loop, the top loop, goes around the top bit of the bowl. Small pocket is on that side, big loop comes around and goes over the top of the bowl. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on this. We're just gonna make sure that the string's on properly, which it is. Then all we're gonna do is bend the bolt, push the string up. It's a very simple, and there we go. There you go, the string's on nicely you're gonna make sure it's like on it in its grooves properly just gonna check over the bowl make sure you've done everything right um, and then the final thing is just adding on the site now this is pretty simple all we're gonna do is just unscrew this little bit slides in here there's a bunch of grooves I like to keep it on the third one I guess technically it's the fourth one and there you go the bowl is made oh god caught it in my wire the bowl is made bada bing bada boom works pretty pretty nicely so yeah, that's how you make the bowl. Yeah, we're gonna travel out to the field. Hopefully we're gonna do some archery. Okay, so I've uh, just arrived at where I do my archery. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful field. Um, and yeah, I just, I have a target just whacked up here. 
and uh, we're gonna be shooting just to um and we'll probably be sighting in the bow a little bit more today just trying to really get down to what it needs to be my hair is all over the place my god um but yeah we'll probably be sighting in the bow just a little bit more just so we can really hone in those arrows um but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh i'll be showing you guys the process of like i gotta go get the target i literally leave it out in the field uh land owner said i was all good to do that <sighs> so yeah uh let me show you exactly what we do and uh and yeah, hope you enjoy. So, this is where we're shooting today. It's really nice. Um, as I said, the uh, it's a really beautiful piece of land. Um, but while we're just setting up, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about a little bit about like my anxiety because I uh, you'd think you know I'm coming out here to do like leisure activities and you know like you'd think my anxiety wouldn't really be that bad, but I mean, it's not it's not crazy bad right now but it's definitely like noticeable and i wanted to kind of talk to you guys <sighs> sorry i'm putting on my quiver um but yeah so i wanted to talk to you guys about just anxiety in general um and really give you guys like an understanding of what it's like for me like kind of coming out here doing archery when i have you know anxiety and you know ocd all of those sort of things and uh, I thought I'd kind of talk to you about it as we're getting set up. It's very muddy out today, I will admit. But it's always kind of muddy. It's kind of a, you know, it's literally a farm. So, yeah, um, today, like every time actually I come out to do archery, um, I'm actually a little bit anxious because I'm away from home and that home was like that place of comfort. And for a lot of people, I feel like with anxiety, the second you go away from that, you kind of get quite anxious. And that's definitely something that I feel. I'm getting anxiety every time I come out here, but it's good. And I'll tell you why. So every time I come out, I'm kind of stepping out into something that is a bit scary, sort of unknown for me. You know, I'm away, I'm away from home, um, but like a decent bit too. Um, and I'm out here all by, literally, all by myself. Um, there's like no one anywhere. And yeah, it's just, I think just being all out here by myself, you kind of, there's that level of being alone. But one thing that I've realized is that uh, you can kind of find a little bit of a peace in that. You know, you can kind of relax and calm down. It just takes a bit of like kind of getting used to and understanding that a lot of these like anxiety, these fears, you're you're creating like i say a lot if not all of them like i mean i came out here today first thing that's on my mind oh, is that my breathing's feeling odd and all this shit and sorry i gotta get the water off the back of the target luckily it's made of plastic so it's not too bad um or form technically but, but yeah it's just like you, we're creating all of these like anxieties and stuff. And uh, let me cut this over here a little bit more. Yeah, you create all the anxieties that you're feeling. And what I've learned is I come out here, I get quite anxious. My first thought is, well, I guess I should just go back home, you know, go back to where it's where I'm comfortable. When that's not really what you wanna do. It's the easy way, like for sure, it's super easy, but you don't need to do that. I think you gotta be able to push yourself sometimes. And I think that's what like archery is kind of doing for me, is it's allowing me to push myself to do and achieve a little goal every time I kind of come out here. Um, Cause as I was saying, my, I felt, my breathing felt weird and it's still worrying me a little bit. But we're kind of like, we're just kind of going with the flow and just kind of feeling things out, um, allowing ourselves to relax. Because I feel like with anxiety, you don't really allow yourself to relax much at all. Hey, I don't know how far this target is. We can kind of measure it here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. About twenty-five paces. It's like a nice little stride as well. So I don't know how far that would be. 25 paces. That's how we're going to measure it from now on, I think. But yeah, challenge yourself. It's uh, it's fun. 
well, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun, but you can you can learn to appreciate and enjoy it because I mean, look where I am. Like, it's hella cozy. It's like I'm here by myself. Like, this is kind of like a little bit of like I guess a little bit of a dream for me because I don't I'm not really a big city person, so I like being kind of out um, in the countryside more than I do being in the city. Oh my god, this is really muddy i'm wearing white shoes which is a really smart idea coming out to a farm Ooh, to shoot a bow with white shoes now i gotta climb up this mound Ugh. but yeah um learn to appreciate it i guess learn to like you gotta change and alter how you feel a little bit of anxiety talk there but uh yeah we're gonna get to shooting here um, i'm gonna set up my drink and stuff i want to have uh, like my water there and stuff but uh got the bow out there got the arrows and we'll, uh, we'll get to shooting, so I'll show you guys some of that. Okay, so um, we're out on the field. There's a couple of steps to getting ready for archery. You gotta be pretty safe, like you gotta be incredibly safe. So always looking out for people, all of those sort of things. Yep, you should just about be able to see the ball. Um, so yeah, we've got the arrows here, we've got the quiver. Um, I've actually got, in these little, in this tube, I've actually got the camera thing, like a little tripod <laughs> that I put in one of the tubes, but I don't need that, so we'll put that down there for now. And what we're just gonna do, so we go, we'll go around the wires. I shouldn't have worn such a baggy shirt. Got eight arrows, gotta always make sure you count your arrows, just so you know how many you've got, just in case you lose one, uh, it's important. And then we have the bow here, obviously. Um, just ready to go, ready to go. We, As I said, we built that at home. So next up is, I keep in my quiver, is where I keep all my like safety stuff. So if we open up this bit, got the arm guard, very important. So the arm guard is important because when the string comes past, you're holding your arm out, the string comes past, if it hits your arm, you're gonna get bruising, you're gonna get, you know, you might even peel back a little bit of skin, uh, which is not, not something you want. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have an arm guard. Bit of a disclaimer, I'm not teaching you how to do archery, okay? I'm just showing you how I do it. You know, I'm not a trained professional, so you gotta do it at your own risk. So yeah, I'm just gonna tighten this up because I got really thin arms. Hopefully that's something that would change with doing archery. Nicely protected. And then the only other thing that I carry is my little hand grip. So this is the bit that goes, um, let me just move it a little bit. So this is the bit that goes on your hand. Um, looks pretty cool, actually. It's got, looks like it has a trigger, but that's actually just something for your fingers. So it just slips onto your hand like that. And then, you know, you'd grab the string with that, put it up to your the side piece, and that's that. So we're pretty much ready to go in terms of setup. The target's out there, the bow's right here. We're good to go. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of shooting, maybe do a little bit of B-roll. Um, and yeah, I'll let you guys experience what it's like to be out here doing archery. So let's have a look. Okay, so... Uh, we've got the target set up. I've actually put a GoPro in the middle of it, which is recording. If we hit it, that would be a little bit unfortunate, but um, hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't, but you've got to get your stretches in um, before you do an archery. So I'm doing the Michael Phelps. We're doing a little bit of a, a little bit of an arm stretch. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. First arrow of the day. This is always the best arrow of the day. All right, so you're going to find a nice stance, nice good good spot to stand in um, arm guards obviously on you want to make sure you've got your safety precautions make sure you know you've checked everywhere you know there isn't any animals people those sort of things and uh, then you're good to go um, first arrow of the day let's have a look how it goes <sighs> let's not hit this GoPro Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that was a little closer than I wanted it to be. I'm gonna do one more just for the fun of it. But um, that's probably gonna look really cool on the GoPro. I'm gonna be honest. Obviously you have the footage coming up as we shoot. Oi, oi, oi. I think I can get away with one more because we're not, I'm not being incredibly accurate right now. 
and maybe wandering the site off a little bit just to make sure we don't hit it, but we're still aiming kind of for it. Oh, bro. Oh, I think three's enough. I think three's enough. That's, that's a little bit, I'll be honest, we're risking equipment here for the shot. So make sure you subscribe. Hey, if you like that shot, make sure you subscribe. Just saying, just saying. We do it, we do it. We're risking, we're risking equipment here for a cool shot. Um, oh my God. Nah, this is, okay, we're a little bit close, boys. <laughs> Dude, nah, this GoPro's, this GoPro has had a scary day. This GoPro has had a scary, scary day. Ay, ay, ay. We're about the two joints on my index finger. That's as far away as we are from the camera. Oh my God. Okay, let's get this off. Yeah, this was actually my granddad's idea was to shoot at this camera. <laughs> it's my granddad's idea. Now, for those of you who don't know, my granddad was actually the person who would take me to my archery competitions when I was younger. So he likes a good challenge. Okay guys, so my camera turned off as uh, I was shooting at the GoPro and I don't know when it turned off. So it's a bit, bit unlucky. So, I mean, for the content, I don't know how much I've done. So I'm gonna have to shoot at the GoPro again. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, as I said, your guys lucky day. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to shoot the GoPro again. It's filming. I gotta get my quiver back on. And then uh, we're gonna take a couple shots at the GoPro. <laughs> oh God. Um, <clears throat> let's hope we don't hit it. <laughs> now the first couple of shots that I took, um, as you'll be able to see from the GoPro footage, were pretty close. But yeah, they were pretty close. Um, so I just gotta hope that we don't hit this GoPro. As I said, this is my dad's GoPro. This is my dad's. So let's not break it. That wouldn't be fun. I mean, it would be for you guys. It'd be great content, but uh, it'd be like a hundred pound down the drain. I don't know how much this camera was, but let's hope we don't hit it. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit of a safe one. That was just a safe one. I just kind of like feeling it out a little bit. Dude, there's loads of little like gnats, little mosquitoes. Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit more accurate. Oh, fucking hell, dude. I don't like shooting at cameras, dude. I'm gonna be honest. And this, I mean, it's gonna make great footage. Oh, God, I don't like doing this. But that landed right above it. Okay, okay, that's three. That's three. That's I feel like that's fair enough. Now camera, let's hope that you don't die as I go to get the arrows. Okay. My god. Jesus. Don't turn off camera. If you turn off, I'm gonna be mad. Ooh, this arrow's close. I will say though, guys, for my first couple of hours of the day, we're hitting very close to gold. <laughs> very close to gold. I'm gonna get all these mosquitoes away. Oh, my god. Jesus, that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. All right, let's shoot. Let's shoot some arrows, boys. The camera's still on. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. You know what guys, That's, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. Pretty damn good, look at that. Not bad.
Welcome to this segment, which I'm going to call the archery break room. <laughs> God, my, my trousers are hella dirty, but um, yeah, we're just taking a little break, having a little little chill, just kind of sitting in, in the nature. I got myself some food, I actually got milled though. But yeah, I mean, we shot, I don't know how many arrows, we probably shot about maybe 30 arrows so far. Uh, the bow's draw weight, I believe, is 24 pounds, so it's not, not that um, hard of a draw weight. But it's always good to have a nice little break. And I just thought I'd just come and chat just about a couple of the reasons why I started doing archery again. Why did I start doing archery again? It's a pretty simple question, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it has a couple of reasons. But I started doing archery because, I mean, one, look at this. You know what I mean? I mean, I am sat in what is practically a pile of rubble and dirt. But you know, I got myself, I'm sat on a brick. And if you just listen for like a second, Like it's just peaceful, you know what I mean? Like it's just peaceful. I, I feel like this is kind of like... I speak about it a lot, you know, we got the Anxiety Gang on Twitch. And I like to think that that converts across all platforms and into life almost. Well, probably. But I talk about anxiety a lot and I feel like having something that's so calm, relaxing, is, uh, is really good. Just being able to get out into nature, I guess. And like, as I said, there's like no one around. Like, there's just no one. Um, like sure, I get a little bit messy, like, um, but it's just calm. And I think that's one of the main reasons, kind of therapeutic in a way. Um, not just, I think just one obviously being out here is therapeutic, but also archery, it kind of does this thing that when you, when you draw that bow back, you can't really make any, you can't really make any mistakes, otherwise you're gonna miss the target. Um, so when you pull that string back, you you kind of just tunnel vision and you kind of zone yourself in to just exactly what you're doing, which is, you know, archery. And I feel like that's really nice for someone with anxiety, is like, if I have anxiety and I pull that string back, I'm gonna be shaking, um, I'm gonna miss my shot, you know, I might miss the target. Um, I'll be inaccurate, like, so I go into doing archery, I mean, a lot of times you'll see is right before I take that shot, it's that big, it's that big deep breath, and it just kind of like, takes you to, like a nice chill place, I guess, I mean, you're in like, a really chill, relaxed area, I mean, even if you're like part of a club, um, you could easily do it and just relaxing and just kind of being yourself, being you. That is a massive bee. That is a fat bee. Oh my God. Jeez, he is right there too. Bruv, just don't sting me. That is a big bee. Oh, he's worm. He's worm. I'm standing up. Leave me alone, bruv, bruv. I know you're chill. I know you're super chill. There's no flowers there, fam. There is literally, hold up. I'll get, uh, I got a GoPro. I see if I can record him. I see if I can record this little guy. I say little guy, this guy's fucking huge. Oh, he's gone. Well, just so I get the GoPro out. <sighs> he was massive. He was massive. So that, there's one thing you got to deal with is maybe a bee every now and again, but bees are pretty chill. Bees are pretty chill. But yeah, no, kind of back to the anxiety, uh, anxiety stuff is like, I feel, I feel like I've got such an outlet here, like um, a really chill thing. And you know, eventually I would like to think that, you know, I can get back into competing. And I mean, that will be something that's, you know, going to cause a lot of anxiety, I'm sure. Um, you know, pulling up to a competition and being alongside so many other people and having to perform at like a good level. That's something I want to get back to because that's what I used to do when I was younger. Um, before I had a lot of this anxiety, because I didn't always have anxiety. Um, I'm sure I, there was like little aspects of it. And when I look back, I kind of think, I think that's why I stopped. Because I actually had anxiety, I just didn't realize. Because I, I can remember one time very specifically, I'd gone to a tournament and I'd actually stayed at a hotel. I, my nan and granddad had taken me, because obviously I was pretty young. And I stayed at this hotel and I remember we traveling to the tournament, we're going to this like big grassland field and I was just like, I feel so sick. I feel so sick. 
And when I look back at it, I'm just like, I think I was just anxious. Like, I think I was genuinely just anxious. And it wasn't like, that's the literal reason why I didn't go. And then after that, like kind of, my archery sort of started to taper off and I started to do it less and less and less. Um, and I felt like that had a bit of an impact on why I stopped. So I think starting up archery again um, is almost a little bit of a fuck you. <laughs> Pardon my French. A little bit of fuck you to, uh, to anxiety and just kind of being like, yeah, I can do this. I don't, you know, it ain't gonna stop me. Um, I've been through, I've been through a lot of, uh, definitely didn't put enough of this on. Um, I've been through a lot of anxiety and, uh, you know, OCDs, general anxiety, health anxiety, the one that's like the main one I deal with at the moment. Um, and yeah, I felt like I want to be able to take what I used to enjoy back and that'd be an archery. And I was good at it too. And I was, I feel like I'm getting there. I mean, from some of the stuff you've seen already, I'm, I'm sure you, you might agree with me. I mean, you might not, you might not, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little snack here. And, uh, obviously, I won't be leaving any rubbish out here. I mean, this is like, the landowner said that, um, you know, that I could use his land, so I'm gonna make sure I respect everything. And, you know, I never litter anyway, but be out here. Good one. We'll keep everything in the bag and then we'll take the bag with us. I'm gonna tuck into this. And then we'll get back to shooting. Not bad. to adjust the sight just a little bit more but I think we're on a good track I think we're on a good track these ones I kind of felt the draw when I was drawing it not being quite right and uh, yeah, I mean it shows so we did pretty good that I think that's the most we've hit in a gold in an eight set of arrows so <sighs> pretty good okay so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today I've literally been shooting until it's got super dark out um, but it's really nice. It's really chill. Um, I'm not recording with my other mic, but but yeah um, Just wanted to say a couple of things. I hope you guys all enjoyed the vlog um, We're gonna be doing probably more of these in the future As you know, we progress through 
um, how I'm doing with archery and stuff like that. It'll be a lot of fun. And so if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And uh, I have actually also launched a Patreon. Now you might be thinking, oh no, he's got a Patreon. Um, but listen, listen. The Patreon is because I don't make any money from my videos at the moment. Uh, I don't make any ad revenue, anything like that. Um, and it just allows me to, you know, be able to put stuff into videos, spend money on videos, that sort of thing, so I can make better content. So if that's something you'd like to do, obviously no pressure. Um, uh, only do it if you can afford to do it. Um, but yeah, if you want to support the channel, that'd be very much appreciated. The links are all down below help support, um, but if not, that's all good. Like and subscribe to the video, leave a comment, let me know if you've done archery before. And as always, love, love, peace, peace, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Later.